Hey everyone, it's Wednesday, September 6, 2017, and it's time to go to work on music. Uh, it's been a great day, I'm in a really good place, and excited for a productive session. So, I'm going to hit a slightly shorter session today, but it's going to be longer than yesterday, so I'll see how that pans out as far as my new sort of balance of music time goes. I'll let you guys know what that looks like. And then I'm going to hit some online classes, going to update you guys with what I'm doing there, hit a quick guitar practice, and then... I'm not really sure what I'm going to do on the production front today. I think I'll probably listen back to the takes from two days ago again, maybe make some adjustments, maybe do some extra takes. Um, we'll see. I also, my Isovox um, vocal isolation booth came today, so I may end up opening that up and um, starting to set that up, but I don't have a stand for it yet, so that may not go that well. Um, but anyway, I appreciate you guys for tuning in, and uh, I'll see you guys in a few. Very good session overall. Uh, I started implementing the idea I was talking about yesterday of just like, if I'm whatever I'm going to do, I'll do that well and focus on it and not like rush it or stress. And that probably means I'll just cover fewer things in in certain sessions. Like the number of items that I've covered in that day won't be as as great. Like I won't be checking as many boxes if that makes sense. And what I've realized over time, especially in my teaching practice, which I do a lot of um, outside of music as well, I, I, um, I do a lot of teaching outside of music, and one thing I've realized is it's easy as both a teacher and a student to think that the number of things you covered equals the number of things you learned, or the quality of your, your learning or your teaching. And what I've realized is <laughs> that's not actually necessarily true. Um, sometimes the most valuable lessons and the most learning, the most bang for your buck, comes from not rushing through things, but really taking your time to deeply analyze fewer things. Fewer things deeply analyzed. And what I always tell my students is, you know, who's the wiser person? The person who does a hundred problems and learns three things, or the person who does three problems and learns a hundred things? You know, what, which, which one is more efficient? I mean, it, strictly in terms of time, you might spend exactly the same amount of time, but if you're thinking about things you learned per minute, <laughs> then I think the second situation is, is pretty obvious. So it's, uh, what I'm noticing is it's difficult to do that for me because I think I just have a long history of thinking about the number of things that I've covered in a session equaling how productive that session was or maybe even number of hours or something like that. But even that is not the best metric. Those are just vanity metrics, I've realized. Um, the real metric is how much better am I than when I started uh, an hour and a half ago. And I'm better. I'm, I'm actually a lot better. I just sat down a moment ago and was just re-listening to this vocal sort of like scratch recording I did, just recording myself practicing the vocal melody for this song, and I just realized, I just was re-reminded like, it's not necessarily about hitting the melody or the part perfectly that makes a great vocal performance for me. It's really about me just being as expressive as possible. And I watched this killer Berkeley Music Online promo video for their singing department, I think it was, it's free on their YouTube page. And one of the instructors is like, I always tell my students, sing to express, not to impress. And that just hit me so hard. <laughs> and it just transforms your approach. And, you know, two days ago I was talking about the mental game of singing and how big that is. I mean, the mental game of everything is big. <laughs> the mental game of life in general is massive. I mean, your perspective, your your philosophy of how you work and what work you do and the energy you invest in that work has a huge, huge impact, way more impact than a lot of us give us give it credit for, which I think is just fascinating. So getting into the details of the session, I um, 
I hit some online classes, just getting more information about the Facebook platform in general. Some of these things might have been updated since uh, since this video was created, but uh, one of the cool features that I realize is you can filter out certain words um, that the algorithm will just not post if people put those words in your in their comments or post to your page, which is I think really cool um, for just making sure your page has the vibe you want it to have, and you can filter out profanity. Um, selectively and you can filter out certain countries or include only specific countries in terms of who gets to see your page and stuff like that and um, I've been thinking about that a lot like you know if I want to be really successful like do I want to be known in my home country of the United States um, or would I prefer to just not really have a market in the United States and maybe just you know subsist on the larger global market um, and I'm not sure about that, you know, I haven't made up my mind, but it's nice to have options with that. So um, that was great, as usual, I'm really enjoying that class. And then I moved on to a quick guitar practice, just trying to stay really focused and in the zone. And I just spent some time warming up, trying to be really intentional about expressing what I was feeling today, just thoughts and feelings, just moving those through the guitar and not necessarily about worrying about the notes I was playing as much as just the vibe and the feeling and the delivery of those notes, which is a nice, a fun thing to focus on. Because, um, you know, music is so much more than hitting the right notes. I mean, it's just, it's so much more than that. But for some reason, I've realized I sometimes have the tendency to just think about it like, I just got to hit these notes and I got to hit them in time. And then that's, therefore, it will be the best music it can be. <laughs> And there is so much more to it than that, man. It's 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 wild. Uh, I've talked about that before, but I did that and then got into just working on that riff. I slowed it down even more than I had it uh, slowed down two days ago. And practicing slowly is just so good for your technique. It's I don't know if there's anything that's better for your technique than practicing slowly. I feel like my technique is always at its best when I'm when I'm doing that regularly. So I'm gonna keep doing that speed it up slowly over time and then I just started singing a little bit and reviewed that that uh, recording from the other day and that was it that was the whole session so I didn't push myself to try to knock out as many things as I possibly could and I'll, I'll keep experimenting with that I, I don't know it, maybe it's better for me in the long run to just feel a little stressed in the session and just knock out as much as I can but I'm feeling great right now I feel not stressed, I feel relaxed, and I feel like, okay, I got some good work done, like maybe it wasn't as much done as I theoretically could have gotten done, but within the limits of my commitment, you know, based on my experience goals, uh, which I've been putting more focus on recently, you know, it's pretty good. So just talking more about that, like I think we have a tendency to, f to make our goals a lot about physical, measurable accomplishments like in the outer world, outside of our minds a lot of times which is great. I have those goals and I'm, I'm passionate about pursuing them. Um, but one thing I've been thinking about recently is experience goals. Like, what's my goal of how I want to feel? What do I want my experience to be like on a day in, day out basis? And I wrote some things down and I'm pursuing those goals just as passionately as I'm pursuing my, you know, like I want this uh, type of house in this type of area or something like that. You know, those types of things are really motivating and important to me. They're not the ultimately important thing by any stretch, but they're fun. It's a fun, you know, challenge and motivation to, to pursue that type of stuff for me. It keeps me motivated and investing in things I love. But also, like, <laughs> the whole point of chasing those goals is to have a better experience in life. Otherwise, why would we even want those goals and why would we even want them to pursue them? It makes no sense, you know. No one wants the result with a crappy experience, like, oh, I won, but I feel terrible about myself and, like, I hate my life, you know, like, that just seems like the pu most crystallized, purest expression of just pure, empty ego desire, which I don't want to devote my life to that type of self-aggrandizement. I just think that that is a really empty victory, so... You guys are, of course, free to disagree. I'm curious about everyone's opinion on that, but that's just how I'm thinking about it now and just sharing my thoughts. So it's, of course, what this vlog is about. Um, yeah, so that's the session. I hope you guys are out there grinding towards your goals, enjoying the process. Let me know if you have any thoughts, comments on anything I've done today. 
let me know what you guys are up to in your practice routines and your your musical visions or just your artistic or creative visions whether that be a business or a lifestyle or a you know a job or something like that um, just let me know how you guys are managing your time like do you agree with the quality over quantity equals best results thing or do you think like there's an optimum level of stress of like an in-between phase or something like I'm curious let me know and part of the reason I, I do these vlogs is to learn from other people you know not just to like demand that other people <laughs> see things from my point of view um, that's it I'll see you guys tomorrow for more till then